and we've known Scott to take this franchise very, very seriously. And he, you know, anything that he puts out in regards to FNAF has to be top tier quality. Looks like they, they finally found the secret formula. And now this movie is finally really being made for real. They finally found the right team of people to work with for this movie. Really excited for this. I just feel like this is gonna be the start of something new with the FNAF franchise. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with the video and we're gonna be reacting to FNAF movie official release date and possible filming soon FNAF news. So this video is by Johnny Blocks um, He's one of the many people that you know covers Finance of Freddy's and you know, we've been waiting for this movie for a very long time like <laughs> I, I want to say it's been like it's been a long time. It's been a long time since we've waited for this movie. I think since 2015, 2016, we've been waiting for this movie to come out. Um, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Jason Bloom has been hinting that the movie is coming out soon. But, you know, us FNAF fans, we got to chill out for a second, be patient. You know, he said it was dangerously close. And so we'll see. We'll see. Um, dangerously close so it's hitting the end of the year, right? And they just released some photos of them working on the concept for the animatronic suits. And so I'm thinking if it's dangerously close, like he said, it has to be within the next two years. It has to be. I feel like they've made a lot of progress. I feel like they've not only hinted at a lot of things, but again, they've also teased a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And so I, I, think, I think a FNAF movie is coming soon um i don't think it's gonna be this year i definitely think that it would be either next year or the year after probably sometime in october i think that's probably when they would get the most um the most eyes on this film because again like this movie has to also attract you know a different audience like this movie isn't it isn't just for FNAF fans. I know that, you know, us FNAF fans, you know, we want the lore and we want everything geared towards us. But because this is going to be in theaters to the general public, it also has to make sense to the general public. And so this movie, you know, will probably do the best around Halloween time because as everyone knows, like during Halloween time, people want to go see horror films. And so I'm interested to see, um, you know, the release date, hopefully. And what other updates they have um, in terms of this movie. But yeah, we're going to hop right into this video. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to yet another FNAF News video. This one's very exciting because we're back talking about the official FNAF film made by Blumhouse. And I'll tell you right now, things mm -hmm. are looking up for this movie. It's amazing. We're getting brand new info after brand new info. The mm -hmm. best part about this brand new info is that it's good info. It's <laughs> good news. It looks like this movie's finally finally making progress yes, after so like exciting. seven years of production it's bounced from studio to studio script to script produce yeah this this like because back back when you know scott was in the community and y'all didn't harass this man off the internet um he was very transparent about the whole process of creating this movie and coming up with the script and i know that he talked about scott has talked about um you know getting presented scripts by people and none of them felt right um and you know we've known scott to take this franchise very very seriously and he you know anything that he puts out in regards to fnaf has to be top tier quality and he doesn't want to produce anything that's going to be lackluster and so you know they had to go through like he said a lot of scripts a lot of different production people but it looks like they they finally found the secret formula and now this movie is finally really being made for real Producer to director, it's seen everything. But with the info in today's video, looks like we are finally going to be getting the movie, and it might be sooner than you might first suspect. So, if you're interested, hit the like button. If you're brand new, subscribe. We talk about FNAF news all the gosh dang time. And subscribing to this channel is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on in FNAF. So let's kick this video off by talking about the brand new behind the scenes teaser Jason Blum gave us a little bit ago on the anniversary of FNAF. But mm -hmm. Jason Blum says it's great to be walking with the Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Their experience and expertise with animatronics is absolutely killer. 
And I don't know much about uh, Jim Henson's creature, creature Shop. When I heard people um, talking about, you know, this teaser, everybody was like, oh my God, like they're amazing at this kind of stuff. So that that's great. Because, um, you know, I wasn't really familiar with that company. But if they're known to make... Um, you know, animatronics or just make really uh, cool costumes and stuff like that. You know, again, I think that, you know, they, they finally found the right team of people to work with for this movie. So I, I granted, I'm not going to set my expectations too high, but I am really excited for this movie. And in the photo, you can see somebody designing a animatronic suit for someone to supposedly wear on set. Now, Jim Henson's Creature Shop is <laughs> absolutely insane to have on the FNAF movie. They have done some incredible productions. They are absolutely unbelievably talented with animatronics and stuff like that. They've done work with the Dark Crystal, oh. Sesame Street, the Muppet what? movie. So they really know their stuff when it comes they down to Sesame animatronics Street. and suits that people puppeteer on set. So while in this image we do see them designing a suit based around a human model, mm -hmm. so this suit, and we definitely know it's a Freddy Fazbear suit because we can see his top hat, we can see his ears, we can even see his head in the bottom left hand corner. This particular suit may be used for someone to dress up in and act out on scene. However, like I said, Jim Henson's Creature Shop is very good at making suits that people puppeteer on set so they could mm. also make some of those i'm just thankful that it doesn't seem like a lot of cgi is going to be involved since they're making actual real suits for people to again puppeteer or act in but i'm interested what do you think do you think they're actually going to use people in suits do you think they're going to do it some other way again with puppets or maybe with i mean i was kind of hoping it would just be the animatronics moving because if we're talking about fnaf 1 um yeah they make noises but they don't talk and so i don't think I don't know. I mean, regardless of however they do it, as long as it's executed well, I don't really care. Um, if there are humans in the suit, um, I don't think I would want it to be, you know, too obvious that there's humans in the suit. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That, that would be interesting because I thought they were going to make, you know, actual animatronics, so I think, I, which I think would be really, really cool. And I also think it would maybe open the door to possibly making an actual finance for this restaurant because if you can get the animatronic models down you can maybe transfer that over to like a pizzeria i don't know just saying <laughs> um but yeah i don't i don't mind either way as long as it's executed well it's cgi also you may have noticed recently a lot of people have been saying that the film might start filming later this year in december that was because in a now deleted reddit post someone mm. linked to an article in production weekly that basically listed off a whole bunch of upcoming movies like a, a brand new exorcist project and spawn a quiet place 3 just a whole bunch of movies and apparently fnaf was listed in that article with a filming time of december it turns out Ooh. however that's not necessarily true. What was true is that FNAF was listed in that production weekly article. For the issue of, you know, the week of August 10th, FNAF was listed alongside various other films. However, nowhere in the article did it say the film would be filming in December. Is it a likely filming time? I'd say so. Because yeah. they're working on props, you know, they're working on the animatronic suits. We can assume that they have a script nailed down, because why would they be making props if they don't have a solid script? We yeah. can also most likely assume that they got another director, a brand new director, producer, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. after the prop making phase, the next step is filming. would be filming. Yep. So while it's not confirmed it's happening in December, right? That was debunked because it didn't show up in the production weekly article. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty safe to say they're going to start filming within the next couple of months, I'd say. And the reason why it was so difficult to double check whether or not the article said, you know, FNAF filming in December was because you have to pay like over 70 bucks just to look at that issue. Now, thankfully, oh. we have legend Coda Animations <laughs> on our side because he actually went out and he bought the I was going to say, the way FNAF fans are, $70 is nothing to, you know, get any type of information when it comes to Finance of Freddy. So I'm not surprised that someone went ahead and bought the issue, just to, just to be sure. The issue for that week to see what it exactly it said about the FNAF movie. And this is what he got. I spent 75 bucks on Production Weekly membership so I could view the actual information. Mm. And while that Production Weekly thing doesn't have the actual date for shooting just yet, it's worth knowing it's most likely a big 
deal. FNAF has showed up there at all. Since Blumhouse projects appearing in this production weekly thing seem to follow a pretty samey schedule of showing up close to when Blumhouse nails in filming dates and whatnot. Then, when the film date comes and goes, it stops showing up in the issues unless additional filming is needed. A couple samples of this are shown below. And then he goes on to list a few examples. The Untitled Exorcist project first showed up in the issue in November 2021 for a November shooting date, which was shooting first in scenes I'm just, issue I'm just gonna... likely an app that making for Netflix showed up for the first time in October. Since filming doesn't seem film sorry i just i don't care about these other weeks. movies if it keeps showing up in the issue they're most likely just working out the final details before that becomes semi-public knowledge now unfortunately i can confirm fnaf has not showed up in the issues at all since the week of august 10th which is where we first got this information so while it's still unclear when exactly the film's going to be filming Thankfully, it's confirmed when the film will be released. I'm sorry, this is a side note. I can't stop staring at the plushies <laughs> in the back. Like, the plushies are just so cute. I actually just ordered um, two plushies from U2's that three-day um, release that they had, which I was so upset about that, first of all, because, like, why... As big as FNAF is and as much as people would like to have a plushie, a cute plushie, of those FNAF characters, why would y'all only have them for sale for three days? That, that really, and I'm like, thank God I do have some money saved up to where I can splurge a little bit and I, I could afford to get them. But I didn't even get all the ones I wanted. I got like two. I really wanted three of them, but I only got two because I am still trying to save money. But yeah, I'm like, you know, those plushies in the back, <laughs> they look really cute. Like I, oh man, even the Hex plushies are back there. Okay, sorry, side note by Jason Blum because the other week Jason Blum did an interview with Deadline where he talked about the upcoming Exorcist remake and other movies they have planned with the studio but what we're interested in is this question in particular Deadline saying what are you most excited about from the Blumhouse slate coming out in the next year Jason Blum replied with I'm very excited about Spawn I'm very excited about Five Nights at Freddy's, mm. which has been a long time coming, but we're getting very close. Very As close. I tweeted the other day, <laughs> dangerously close. And then we have the three originals that we're working on, which haven't been announced yet, okay. but they're all going to go into production within the next 12 months. So this confirms that we are definitely 100% getting the FNAF movie, I'd say next year. Yes! Obviously, their question includes the end of this year, but because we haven't gotten anything on filming, no teaser, no trailer, nothing like that, I definitely don't think it's coming out this year, so yeah. 2023 included in their comment, and also just common sense, we're getting it that year. Which is a big, big relief after, again, waiting seven years for this movie. It's yeah. Finally has, it finally has a confirmed release date of next year. Hopefully things go right this time and it's not delayed again and again and again but thankfully it seems like they're working on props so i i looks like everyone's happy with the script looks like everything's moving along smoothly yep. jason blum being very optimistic with the release dates being very optimistic uh with the people behind the scenes making and that's that's the thing it's like oh i'm gonna go ahead and let him finish i didn't realize we were at the end in the film this could be it we might actually be in the final stretch this time. But at the end of the day, thank you so much for watching. But yeah, um, that's the thing with um with Scott with all these projects. Everybody that Scott works with, they all seem to be very passionate about the franchise. Now, obviously, Illumix is in the air because of everything that's going on with them. But for the most part, like even just you know Jason Blum, like he seems very excited about this movie coming out and you want people like that behind your film that are even just working with your franchise that care about it as much as you do because there's, there's a lot of grimy people in hollywood that just want a quick cash grab and so yeah i'm really looking forward to it i know a lot of people have been um they just been over it at this point like they don't they just their excitement is gone at this point they um a lot of people are just on the energy of I'll believe it when I see it because it's been so long, which I completely understand. Um, it's honestly how I felt about security breach. I knew security breach was coming, but I'm not going to lie. The constant delays in security breach really frustrated me to the point where my initial excitement for security breach was kind of gone. Um, granted, I was still happy and excited when the game came out. 
but I wasn't like doco excited like that. I was excited to that degree, like screaming and like getting all hyped up over the trailers. That's how I was in the beginning. But the more the game kept getting delayed, the more I'm just like, okay, the game gonna come out when it come out. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> like I was, I was so over it. But no, I actually am really, really excited for this. I just feel like this is gonna be the start of something new with the FNAF franchise. I'm sure it's gonna cover quite a bit from the games. I'm wondering if it's even gonna like answer anything from the games or if this is intended to be a completely separate universe from the games i don't know and it just makes me excited for any other potential fnaf movies if this one does well like imagine a sister location movie oh my god but yeah i'm really excited and let me know if you guys are excited as well in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video